Hello and welcome to FEM Expert. Today we will present you a basic tutorial in which we will show you how to import and export ANSI ANSI specific files. So we are going to start with a previously loaded model that we had in a, in, an, in previous tutorials. This is a BMT junction made with volume type elements and Although we show you how to import 3D CAD models in another tutorial, today we will show you how to export stuff, the information that you have from this model, so you so that you can use it in another ANSYS version. One of the main problems that with ANSYS is, for example, if you work on this model on the ANSYS 13 version and you want to open it on a 15 version, or you give it to somebody that has the, the ANSYS 15 version, he will have no problems opening it. But the otherwise, like in most of the programs, if somebody has the 15 version and gives you the model, you won't be able to open it with the 13 version. Therefore, sometimes you can have a lot of problems. And this is quite common in the industry. Some specific computers have a higher version of other ones or the, the regular ones that you're using, they don't have the drivers on the new versions and stuff like that. So you don't wanna use a higher version so in order to do that you have to export the model and then import the model in the other ANSI so that's what we're going to show you today the first thing we're gonna do is well we have here the model we're gonna go and show you what's the model made of we have volumes if we're gonna plot areas we have areas but to make a differentiation we're gonna go to plot controls numbering and we're gonna activate the areas only colors so here you can see that our volume is made by multiple areas then we go to lines here, here we have all the lines that our model has the key points the elements for the elements we're going to zoom in you can see here the elements and finally we can plot the node so as you can see our model is quite complex there's there's all kinds of entities and stuff and load cases and apply forces and so on. And so if we want to give this to somebody that has an earlier version of ANSI, so we just want to export it and keep it somewhere for later access, what we have to do is go to preprocessors, arch archive model, and we have write or read. In our case, obviously, we're going to write. And here you have a lot of options. You have this window and here you have a lot of options. We're going to kind of describe most of them. Well, the default option is to archive old. So you have two files. One is, this, is the one associated with the finite element model, which is the import export has the name and it has the termination CDB, like a copy database. And the IGES file, which will be linked to all of the geometry elements and the CDB will be linked to all of the finite element model uh, information like the elements, the nodes, the load cases applied, the boundary conditions and so on, the material properties, the element type that you define and so on. So this is one of the most recommended also that's why ANSYS has it by default otherwise you can have the combined the associated DB or solid file in one file and you can use an IGEE format or the ANSYS neutral file. Here you can change the, the name. If you don't change it, we'll keep the CDB termination. And well, it, it could be sometimes these formats, especially with the ANSYS neutral files, can provide better results, but we don't regularly use them. We try to use the first one because it gives you more freedom to look at stuff and modify stuff if you need it at some point okay then you have the option of solid this is if you want to only want to save the solid model and the loads you can also do it in IGES and an ANSI neutral file um, format then you have a DB in which you will put all the finite element information but you will not have any of the geometry elements you can do this if you want to you know you you have a model that you don't really need to modify anything on the on the model you're completely sure that you probably just want a simulator or something so you can create it's like creating a copy of a de database 
which can be opened by earlier versions. Then we have the geometry information, the components information and geometry. You can also save the material properties and the loads for the finite element model for that particular load step that you're in. Okay, so after we've seen these options, you can read more about these options by simply clicking on the help and using the help. We have a tutorial in which we explained how to get into the help and utilize the help, although it's quite simple. So you can either view that tutorial or just simply click on help and find your way around there. So we're going to go on all associate final element and IGES model. We're going to hit OK. After we hit OK, as it is going to be thinking a little bit, and when it's done, supposedly it should be done. Uh, one mention, whenever, whatever you have selected at that moment is what, is what is going to be saved. Anyway, if you don't have everything selected, as it's going to give you a warning and tell you that be careful because you don't have anything, everything selected. Okay. So once we did that, we're going to go to finish and we're going to show you a trick, which is typing on the co comment prompt bar slash clear and we're gonna hit OK it's gonna give us a warning we're gonna hit yes and now we have cleared and there's nothing in here you can list lines key points or anything and you'll see there's nothing defined let's see volume there's nothing we don't have anything there's nothing no entities in here so what we're going to do is not resume, we're going to go to preprocessors and we're going to read. We're going to tell ANSYS, we're going to, you have the name, CDBE, IGS, here you have the same options. You can read a combine, a solid, a DB with all the element information, etc. So we're going to hit OK. It Sometimes it gives some error redimensioning warnings for some parameters, which is quite normal, so you just accept it. And then we have here the model. We're going to just position it again. And we're going to check again the, the same, all the entities. We have the volumes, we have the areas. We're going to do the numbering again of the areas. Sorry, I'm going to do it again. Numbering, and I'm going to just do the colors only. Okay. So areas look good, lines look good, key points look the same elements we have the elements defined we're going to zoom in to see again as you can see the elements are the same and finally the nodes so we have the nodes too so now you, the model is basically the same way it was we when we exported it as we said this is a very handful tool when you want to send this model to another ANSYS version that's older and sometimes it's very helpful so when the, there's problems when the models have been corrupted or something and you just want to try to recover that model. So now you know how to export and import files in ANSYS. One more mention before we close here is the, the files are going to be created. They're going to be created on your working directory. The CDB or IGES files are going to be created in your working directory. So as I said before, you now, now you know how to import and export ANSYS files. We would like to thank you for your attention and we hope you enjoyed this presentation. For more tutorials, please visit our community and follow us on the social media. Also, if you have the possibility and you enjoy our community, please consider making a donation.